What's up everybody, it's AC Omega and today I have a nice video for you. So I was thinking right about this game called Call of Duty World War 2 and about the current state of it. We are now two DLCs into its life cycle and I thought it would be nice to take a step back and to look at some of the secret challenges in the zombies mode. DLC 3 is right around the corner and I really think that the next two DLCs will be the most dark and mind blowing expansions so far. And as much as I want to see some great stories and new wonder weapons, I am really looking forward to see new secret challenges and of course new secret characters. But anyways, like I said, today I want to take a step back and look at the, in my opinion, hardest challenges so far. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 5, we have the challenge Time Cruncher from the map The Shadowed Throne. For this challenge, you have to beat the easter egg within 33 minutes. And this is really difficult. Don't get me wrong, but The Shadowed Throne's easter egg is very easy. However, to get it done in 33 minutes, you need to have a good team with skilled players. And everybody has to know what they are doing. One mistake is all it takes to mess up this challenge. You need to communicate and to work out a strategy for each player, but you also have to adapt to your surroundings if you need to. All in all, it's a challenge where you have to multitask and to be quick, but it's definitely doable as long as you have a good team. Except if you are this guy, well then, who needs a team anyways, right? I guess if you are the best player ever, then you can even do this challenge solo. Moving on to our number 4 spot, we have the challenge Just Takes a Scratch. This challenge is also on the Shadowed Throne. And for this challenge, you have to survive 30 rounds without getting hit from zombies. However, you can get explosive damage from the bomber zombies. This challenge can be done with more players or just on solo. If you play with more players, then all of them are not allowed to get hit. So I mean for this challenge, there are a few strategies. The easiest would be to camp with 4 players in a smuggler room and simply pack a bunch your 9mm sap pistol and use shell shock and sustain zone. Pretty easy if everyone in your team knows what they are doing. A other approach would be to run around the map and to kill the zombies one by one. Or you could camp and use free fire, jack in the boxes and a ton of max ammo consumables, like I did. Or you could just camp in a wall and glitch your way to round 30. Seriously, don't be that guy. No one likes cheats, especially me. Our number 3 spot goes to the challenge Penny Pincher from the Darkest Shore. The infamous challenge to unlock the Slayer from Casablanca. For this challenge, you have to do the easter egg without spending more than 20,000 points as a team. And as far as I know, this challenge is the only one that can't be done on solo. Well, maybe it is in theory, but you have no chance against the Meuchler in the boss fight. So this one is really similar to the time cruncher challenge from our number 5 spot. Because it requires first and foremost a team of very skillful players. A team where everyone knows what to do. The reason why I put this challenge higher in the list is because of the boss fight. The Darkest Shores boss fight is really one if not the most difficult boss fight in all of Call of Duty Zombies. And for this challenge you have to survive all of the easter egg with the bare minimum. No perks and only one pack a bunched weapon I would say. You need to pick the right mods and special abilities to do this. And you are also not really allowed to get down and to die, because you will lose points for that. So this is definitely well deserved on our number 3 spot. So if you see a player who has the Casablanca character, just know that it's probably a pro. Coming in at number 2, wow we are almost done with our list. Anyways, we have the challenge King of the Castle on Grosden House. And this, this challenge requires you to get to round 50 on this small bonus map and to kill the Brenner boss on round 50. It's absolutely insane. This takes 2 or 3 hours on solo and up to 7 hours for a 4 player team. As long as you don't mess up and die of course. Now the good news are that for this challenge again a skillful second player or more can join your game. And you have some decent choices if it comes to your loadout. Mods, attachments or consumables, you name it. Pick what fits your playstyle and get the right guns from the box. 
And by the way, you can have Pekka punched weapons from the box. But even with a perfect setup, it's extremely difficult to get to round 50. You need to train like a god in the smallest zombies map ever. And you can't get distracted. You really need to focus for a few hours straight. And that can drive someone insane, trust me. Especially if you mess up on round 48 or get disconnected from the game. So yeah, the Blood Raven Mountaineer character for this challenge is really the best example for a very good player. But now let's go to our number one spot. We stay in Groston House. In fact, we go to the prologue mission on Groston House. You probably guessed it already. It's the prologue challenge for getting to round 25 without going down. The challenge is called Home Advantage. And this f challenge is by far the most difficult challenge in all of World War II Zombies. If you do it legit. Because you are on your own for this challenge. No team, no pack a punch, no perks and no mods. Only the MP40 and free fire. The only things that you can get are weapon attachments for your MP40. To get to round 25, you need around 1 hour, if not more. And as long as you don't mess up of course. And trust me, you will. You will die if you try that challenge. Again and again and again. For this challenge you can use the mystery box, yes. And you can get the jack in the boxes. But you will not get any drops. No max ammos and no insta kills. And no nukes that can save you from the flesh eating in front of your way spawning horde of the undead. It took me a week to get the right strategy and to beat it. It really requires to train like a god and to kill in the right moments and spots. But after a week of dying and mastering this challenge I could even do it with inverted colors on my PS4. Why? Well, I don't even know why. I just wanted to demolish this challenge once and for all. But yeah, that's it. That was my top 5 for the hardest challenges in World War II Zombies so far. Maybe I will make a top 10 list after the UFC 4, so let me know if you would be interested in seeing that. But yeah, like I said, DLC 3 is around the corner and I can't wait for Sledgehammer to go all out in the next map. I'm ready for that. But in the meantime, let me know your top 5 hardest challenges. Have I missed one? Leave a comment down below. But as always, thanks for watching, it means a lot to me. And I see you next time. Goodbye.